Genuine. Um, okay, uh, right, my number two, I assume it's your number two or your number one, Lollipop Chainsaw. It's my number one, yeah, yeah let's do it. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, how far through are you? So I am, uh, I've done the second, I've done three levels, second proper level, finished. I beat the Viking okay. drummer. Okay, I mean, I've, I've com- completed it, so I'll try and avoid spoilers. Uh, have you, I'm trying to think which bit, have you done the bit with the um, the mushrooms? No. Okay. Uh, this is really hard. Yeah, it's it's a, it, it, for for want of a better description, it is a really really simplified. It's basically No More Heroes three. A lot of the same systems are still in place, and it's uh, the combat's kind of similar, but it's also simplified. And the streamlining of the narrative by James Gunn uh, makes it's it's whether Suda Fifty One will ever make a game that's as accessible as this again. I have no idea because it it is completely accessible. Um. Yeah, I just I, I love his games. His games just when I was like a kid and I was in love with films, I always used to think, you know, why why has no one just gone completely out of the box? And you know, why didn't Francis Ford Coppola finish Apocalypse Now with like a dance routine or something? <laughs> and this is, reminds me why I love his games and games because he they, it does shit like that all the time. Yeah, like well, I mean, the, the mushroom sequence you haven't got to is completely random. It doesn't belong there, but it fits within the context of, of a Suda Fifty One game. Mm. And that's all of his games. They're so they should be disjointed. They shouldn't work. All of these just explosion of ideas should make it feel, oh, that bit, that bit. I didn't like that bit. I didn't like it. But it doesn't. It just feels coherent. I, I thought it was, a, I, it was a blast. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. There's been all sorts of talk online about sexism and misogyny, and I'll get to that in a little minute, but ultimately I'm exactly the same thing as you. I have a very silly sense of humour, and yeah. 2 to 51 taps into that with James Gunn as well who, who seems like he has a very similar sense of humour to me they've just tapped into that perfectly and I, I've i laughed out loud and I've played half the game yeah, so many times yeah me too just crap gags like quite often bad gags that make me crack up clever stuff that makes me crack up bizarre ideas yeah um, I don't know if it's as good so far as Shadows of the Damned it doesn't matter I, I, I'm so enamoured by it and yeah, the musical stuff, the everything about it just is so far up my street. Yeah, same. That I already knew it was going to be, but it, it, it's even more so. And like you say, I do think it's his most streamlined game. I'd love it if they had a ton more budget and they made the exact same game, but somehow stripped out the loading times, like um, yeah, Max Payne Three. So yeah. it was just relentless because it feels like someone wrote that it feels like the ultimate sugar high, and that's a great. It's a great, great description. It feels like you just smash three energy drinks and it's all fucking happening in front of you the whole time. Just, yeah, I love it. I love it As, too. On the other tip, quickly, I think the word misogyny is a dangerous word to throw around. Um, there's an obvious argument about sexism and objectification in the game. Whether or not it's even worth talking about, I'm not sure. But mm. that word misogyny is getting thrown around a lot. And that's a much, much stronger and a very dangerous word. And I, it, to call Pseudo-51 a misogynist is, I mean... Fuck off, basically. Yeah, yeah. He it's, he's so clearly not misogynist, and you, you just have to look back through his work to see why. And yeah. and uh, 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 lollipop chainsaw is so obviously not a sexist piece of work as well that it's not even subtle how unsexist it is. It, um, you know, the subtext isn't exactly difficult to dig out. But it, it, even with, even despite that, it, it, uh, the, the, just just in terms of the content, as far as I'm concerned, it made carry on camping look like fucking basic instinct it's so yeah. affable and tame and uh yeah that that's a fu- that's a funny discussion that's going on i don't quite understand it myself um but yeah i think it's my least favorite game of his um i i, I think it's nowhere near i mean the pinnacle for me is it's a toss-up between killer seven and no more heroes 2 uh, no more heroes 2 which is just if you're not partaking in a completely random in cons- you know, a side mission, a completely, you know, you're not playing the game. It's a right. completely, it's, it's a, a completely indescribable, just a, a potpourri of fucking. I need to get no more heroes. Do you do. I need it's, to get it. People need to play that. Yeah, I gave up on one. Uh, or the boss that I just couldn't do the bit, the yeah. boss on the beach yeah I just couldn't do it I died like 20 times in a row and I was just like fuck this I can't hack it I was just going to say in every Suda game I've played there's one bit where initially I think I can't believe something this broken and badly designed in the game there was that beach boss who I persevered with and now if I, you put me in front of it I could do it first time right. in Shadows of the Damned it was the taste of my big bone a bit where you're firing <laughs> yeah. the gun at those massive giants and I was just like yeah. at first it's impossible and here 
it's that bit on the baseball field when oh you first Oh my god, control. I've just got past that. Did that took me about twelve goes. It was just like, what? How can it be this? And then you get to grips with it and you understand it, and it's like, okay, yeah. Um, but it's uh, once you get to grips with them, but it, there's still those barriers that he's not really afraid to put in because you've no doubt that he could make them immediately accessible. But part of the process is sort of getting to grips with how it works. I, yeah, uh, it's a, it's a great game. Yeah, and I'm, I was pleased to see it charted well, and I'd imagine it didn't cost anywhere near as much as most big games do to make. Yeah, so uh, I've, they've gone quite heavy on marketing though. So they have, yeah. But um, that's that's not Grasshopper, is it? Really, that's that's yeah, Warner. Warner, so. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. hopefully they. Yeah, if it means that they're going to make another game, God, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, that's and, it. With, with with a team like Grasshopper and a guy like Suda, I think there's this this constant fear that eventually it's all going to go wrong and he's going to have to stop because I don't know how he's managed to keep doing it so yeah, far. Yeah, it so seems like yeah, there's only about four people who buy his games. Yeah, but turns out if you uh, don't spend vast amounts of money on your games and you create a an audience for yourself you can sustain yourself I assume uh, yeah. I don't know his financials but he keeps going uh, well I hope he continues um, yes in- incidentally on-, on the subject of humour there are actually some really genuinely funny comic conceits in it just just ideas that would be celebrated in another medium and are completely ignored here like the, uh, when I reviewed it I mentioned uh, the main character's got this little sister and she finds everything simultaneously hilarious and terrifying yeah. so she's always just like I mean it's just it's just a joke but it, and it recurs like two or three times but it, it's just a funny idea and they don't yeah. milk it they don't overdo it um and I also like the fact that the QTEs don't kill you. They just knock off a bit of health. So it's not right, like yeah. an excuse to... I don't know whether that's been done before, but it works really well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's fantastic. I really do. And uh, got a shout-out for the performance for Nick, the, the head. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Dead and performance. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah every I, time she gets a new thing that is going to involve him doing something horrendous, he's just like, uh, what? And then it, it cuts immediately. It's just, <laughs> that's just beautiful. Did you see that? Have you got to the bit where he, she says, cheer up, do a cheerleader song for yourself? No. <laughs> oh, it's just, I mean, it's, it's completely guttural humour, but it's funny. Um, Even the animation where you stick his head on the blue zombie and then after you complete him, he's just waving his hands. <laughs> just. This fucking cracks me up. It it's is, just I, my sense of humour all day. Yeah, I loved it. I, I'm, I'm going to go through it. I've finished it. I'm going to go through it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm on a pseudo tip now. I, I say stuff like this and then run out of time and never actually manage to do it. But I definitely want to play No More Heroes 2. I'd like to finish one. I want to do Shadows again. I'd like to do Killer 7 again. So would but I. The second that comes out, you know, as a download. I'm sure they will. Now, they, they announced the Kami today, didn't they? Yes, Which they is, did. Yeah. But that actually sold, didn't it? Actually, no, it didn't, did no, it? No, no, no. It bombed. It bombed hard. I said it killed a seven though. Yeah. Oh god. But, yeah. Yeah. Why? Why not try and get a few more bucks out of it? But yeah. Uh, you know what? I might try and pick up the GameCube version on eBay and get a um, uh, get a GameCube well, joystick. Like the Wii, didn't it? it That's what I mean. Wii. Yeah. Compatible with the Wii. That's a good excuse yeah. to get that. I'll do that. But yeah, Lollipop Chainsaw is fantastic. Get it. 